Let's welcome our fourth grade chorus coming in right now. And they look fabulous tonight. We thank you for your commitment and your partnership. We want to give a shout out to our teachers, Mrs. Davidson and Mr. Trader. And you are in for a show. In addition to the instrumental and vocal music that you will hear this evening, we also want to highlight the visual arts. Miss Houston is one of our three art teachers here at Ann Tile. We're very fortunate. And the fourth grade students in Miss Houston's class have been visiting countries around the world through their art. They looked at art from the tombs of ancient Egypt, the traditional writing styles of the Chinese, and the bark paintings of the Aborigines of Australia. On display in our main lobby, you will find the fourth graders' modern version of Egyptian nameplates for the royal pharaohs made of clay, Chinese calligraphy with different symbols that have great meaning, and Australia art that tells stories from the dream time of how the world came to be with the Aborigines. You are indeed, as Mrs. Whitner said, in for a treat. So without further ado, we turn the concert over to the fourth grade orchestra. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Antiles fourth grade spring concert. As you can see, we have our fourth grade orchestra here. As many of you know, these students just started playing these instruments in October of this year, uh, spent much of the year with me learning, well, how to get the thing out of the case, and then, of course, how to make the basics happen. Then we build into our concert pieces that you will get to see tonight. Um, I can also echo the sentiments of me realizing that without the support of all of you here, uh, this program in front of you, the, my orchestra and band, and uh, Miss Davidson's chorus, it, it doesn't happen without your support. So I want you to know that uh, every day that I look at practice logs that are signed, I am I'm thanking you up here. So thank you very much for that. And our first piece is New World Symphony Theme.
Hopefully you're having a moment that I have when they play together and go, oh, they sound like that? Uh, it's, it's been quite great getting to watch the growth uh, throughout the year, uh, especially since they started playing as a, as a full group. Uh, before before the, they play their, their, ex, their next piece, I did want to also uh, thank some of the people that, again, make this possible. Uh, we have uh, Mr. Nitti and Dr. Shibashi, as well as our wonderful Board of Education uh, here, and our supervisor, Mr. Wydell. All of those people contribute to uh, the wonderful program that I get to run, so please help me in thanking them. All right, and for their final piece, you're gonna to get to watch uh, the members of the orchestra actually make uh, different sounds with their instruments based on uh, where the music says they're either gonna be using their bow as normal and a few places where they get to go back to the plucking that you would have heard them do when they first learned their instruments. This is D string boogie. And more about the visual arts. For the fourth grade students who uh, are in Mrs. Conti's class, these students used images from the Trolls movie as inspiration to design, draw, cut, and color their own personally made trolls. They used markers for color and some added glint, glitter excuse me, for a little bling. Also from Ms. Conti's class, they did a project called Drawing by Grid. In this project, they used the grid method of drawing. Children were given a choice. They could bring in their own baby picture, or they could Google ugly babies and find a picture that they would like to replicate. And it's true, there's no such thing as an ugly baby but the faces they make were certainly fun to draw. So please be sure to look for those two items on display in the main lobby after the concert. The next group that will be coming out 
will be the fourth grade band. All right, now we have our fourth grade band to present to you. Uh, once again, just like the orchestra members, these students have been playing since uh, the beginning of October's when they uh, just opened those cases for the very first time. And I'm sure you've heard uh, a, a really big difference in the sounds that they've been making uh, along their journey until the, the goal of what you're going to see uh, tonight. I'm really excited for this because once again, uh, we get to see in this particular program, the musicians, we get to see a lot of growth in a short amount of time and uh, it's, it's, it's really exciting and makes it fun to work with them each day. This first piece is Gallant March. I wish you could see the difference in the expressions on their faces before and after they play that first song. You can't believe it. Okay, and the final piece that the band has for you uh, gets to feature uh, our percussion section as it's entitled the Primo Percussion. And before we do that, uh, just one more really important set of thank yous. Um, to our, our principal and vice principal, Mrs. Whitner and Mrs. Conway. Um, not only do they help us in what we're doing here all the time, but pretty much all I see them helping all the students all the time. They're in great hands here. Thank you very much. And now, primo percussion.
And last but not least, our uh, third art teacher, Ms. Atri, worked with fourth grade students as well. And in Ms. Atri's class, the fourth graders worked on a variety of projects, including Asian elephants, which was collage art, Monet's water lilies, which was impressionistic painting based on the master artist Claude Monet's painting of water lilies over the Japanese bridge, canvas stitching on plastic canvas using yarn, self-portraits, and Q-tip structures using Q-tips and clay. So these, again, are projects that you will see on display in the hallway. Now, we are ready to transition to our fourth way choir. And as you know, performing is not just about the way we sing or play an instrument. So you will be so impressed with the way you see these fourth grade performers move from their chairs to the risers, giving you eye contact, being very quiet, and looking directly at Mrs. Davidson for her directions. Fourth grade choir. has helped to make this afternoon, I mean, evening, really special for all of us. We begin our concert with two traditional American folk songs. The first one is titled The Fiddler's Song. The second one is titled Cindy. We will sing each of them in unison. We will then sit, partner them together and you will hear both songs sung at the same time by two separate sections of the chorus. Here is the Fiddler song and Cindy.
next selection titled Built Me a World is all really about creating a world that all of us would like to live in. A world where everything is just right for all people. The lyrics were actually inspired by a group of sixth graders and then set to music by Ginger Littleton. Here is Built Me a World. Now taking you across the world to Australia. Our next song is titled The Stock Rider Song. A stock rider is basically a cowboy. Many of the words you will hear are terms used only in Australia. Listen for the tempo change in verse 3, which marks when times get rough for the riders.
Our next song is actually two songs, two Native American songs. The first one you will hear is Ancient Mother. The second one is The Earth is Our Mother. Both songs are about taking care of the earth and respecting our planet. Please enjoy the instruments our soul, uh, and our soul with Sydney, Dante, and Samantha. Here is two Native American songs.
section for you has the Spanish title, Yo Vivo Cantando, which means I love to sing. We will be going back and forth from English to Spanish. I hope that you have enjoyed the songs we have prepared for you. Thank you for coming and have a wonderful afternoon. was wonderful. Thank you so much for enjoying this special night with us. I want to give it up again for uh, Mrs. Davidson and Mr. Trader for the fourth grade orchestra, band, and choir. Let's give it up. Don't forget that tomorrow it is field day. Kids are to come in shorts, wear that sunblock, that water bottle. We're going to have a wonderful time. Wishing everybody a great week, and it's going to be a beautiful one. Have a great night, everyone.